Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is the Dutch Revolt from 1566 to 1609. It says it's from Michael Gilbert. I'm not sure who published this. It might have been Micro Game Design Group, but I'm just guessing. Uh, the back here looks like it has a siege combat table, terrain effects table, religious alignment effects. Interesting. Don't see that too often in a game. And then there's a conversion table. It's got missionaries, so I assume that's for converting to Christianity or maybe to your flavor of Christianity or something. I haven't read the rules for this yet. Let's see what's inside here. All right, so that's just a cover page. Let's look at the map first, actually. So the map looks similar to the one for the Marcher Lords. Looks like it's just printed up on 11 by 17 inch laser printer, but it looks all right for a micro game. It's not bad, actually. It's actually pretty good for a micro game. It's got a political points track and then a game turn track and all the different um, areas of looks like Holland here, or maybe Belgium or something. Yeah, Holland and... That's interesting. It's got some windmills here. Interesting. Alright, let's take a look at the counters. The counters look similar to the ones for the Marcher Lords, and uh, you have to mount them yourself. Looks like they're single sided, though, so that's good. Like I was saying in the last video, I can't stand it when you have to. Uh, uh, mount your own card counters to cardboard and cut them out and they're double sided I mean that's like a double slap in the face but they look alright though even though you have to mount them yourself religious alignment sheet it's got different areas here and it can be strongly catholic moderately catholic divided moderately protestant or strongly protestant interesting so religion's a big factor in this game. And I got a second hand out here. Oh, this one has different cities, so quite a few cities. All right, let's see how many pages of rules there are here. <coughs> Looks like there's six pages of rules. It says it's edited by Kerry Anderson. I think that's the guy who owns Micro Game Design Group, so maybe this is from Micro Game Design Group. All right, starting with an introduction here and going over the components and the features on the map. All right, and here's the sequence of plays. Starts with an initiative phase, then goes into an event draw phase, then to a treasury phase, then a religious conversion phase, movement phase, siege combat phase, and political phase. And it's got an event draw phase, and here's the different events here. Here's a treasury phase. And going into the religious conversion and siege combat. And the religious alignment effects. And your political phase, and let's see the victory conditions. You get an overwhelming victory if at the end of any turn you could you control all the territories on the map that makes sense or otherwise you can win with um pol is this political points here yeah zero to seven remaining Dutch rebels will soon be crushed and pro Protestantism is almost eliminated blah 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 eight to fifteen the small weak Dutch republic survives unable to participate in the colonial race or significantly influence European history or 16 to 23 medium-sized Dutch Republic emerges soon they have colonists in uh, America Africa and the East Indies or 24 to 31 the Dutch Republic controls most of the Netherlands with France ev eventually absorbing the rest the Dutch colonial empire will rival the British Empire in size and wealth or 32 to 40 the Dutch Republic rivals France as the most powerful nation in Western Europe. Okay, interesting. Hmm, wondering if I should try this one. I will consider it. This one seems uh seems fairly interesting. 
Thanks for watching, and please click like on the video if you liked it, and have a good evening.